The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, we're going to go over the uh, Dow Jones E-mini here. Let's try it again, Larry, the E-mini S&P 500, uh, because we had that big high that we thought was going to come in on uh, Friday, which it did. And now you notice we went slightly higher so far today, backed off uh, very little. We backed off about uh, 16 points Stopped right here at uh, 4385. We're just setting up in here. A lot of resistance up here at the 4408. But let's take a look at this on the daily because this is what we were concerned about. We hit that level. Now we took that high. You see, we did take that. We took that level out by just a little bit. We went to uh, 4402. Yesterday's high was 4396. We're trading at 4397 right now. That's why I said this looked like a potential for a small correction and that's what we did there was our low down here on friday you had the monster move up when we were up about 70 handles and then all we did was make the abcd pattern and came right down yesterday uh you'll see there it is on monday went right down to the uh, uh 30 handles down from the high right at the 382 stay there and then it started to go up. Now, right before the market opened, I sent out the video because I was looking at this pattern right here. Okay, we had a higher bottom, but notice here that we had a really nice ABCD pattern right here, which we did complete. And then we went up and we backed off one more time and then shot up and made new highs up into this area here. So we are playing with this area one or two more times. It's still bullish, folks. There's nothing negative I and mean, we had this one correction and that's all it was so you have to assume that it's still bullish if we look at the last pullback from your low up to your high you can see it went just a tiny bit below the 382 there was 88 this was 86 we didn't even make a 50 percent retracement if that's the case look what we're going to be looking at there's our number up here that uh you know where it's probably going to get up to this is at 44 10 to 44.12 level. Let's just draw it in to show what we're watching here. We'll just draw both of these in so we can see them here. There's your A, B leg right there. You notice how it shoots up through here, folks? That means it's a lot of power. Right there, it tells you it's got a lot of power. See how it comes out of point C? When you see that, you know that the B, C leg, excuse me, there's your A, B leg. You know that your B, C leg, when you see power like this, that means your BC leg is going to be at least 1.27 or 1.618 of the AB. And all I have to do is to click on that and change the CD leg right here. I'm just going to make it to 618 because I think that's what it did. We'll get up here and see. And there we came within uh, one point of the exact 1.618 expansion right there. 02 was, 02 and a half was the high. 03 was the number. And then we backed off right to here. What does that tell us? The next move here is going to be most probably coming up into this area right up in here around 43, 44.16. So we're not we're not uh, done going up, it looks like to me. Now, so far, you know, we haven't made new highs, but, you know, we could easily get up there. I mean, this market's very bullish, folks. I mean, you can see what it did here. This is all we could do after that five-day run. Hello, operator. There's nothing bearish about that puppy. Now, let's turn on the hose and get on to something's bearish because we've got one out here that just doesn't have any friends at all, believe it or not. Here is the crude oil. Now, folks, I have to show you my trade today that I absolutely loved. <laughs> Hold on one second here, and we'll get this up here. I've got to get it on a, a, a tiny bit longer time frame. Let's get it up here on that. I think it was the hourly, was it, we were looking at? There it is. Here's what we were looking at right here. Here's what I really liked this morning. This is what I was looking for. See, we got right down, beautiful A, B, C, D right here. Okay, so I bought it in here, rallied a little bit, and you can see what happened. It just totally collapsed. Folks, I'll tell you, when I see stuff like this happening, 
I literally say, oh, my goodness, why doesn't a person just sell weakness? Because look at that breaking below here. You know, that set up this larger A, B, C, D pattern right here. And now we're going lower. Look how look how bad crude oil is looking now, folks, on the daily. Look at this. See, we're breaking down. There's already made one of the numbers we were looking at yesterday, 78.27. The next one is 75, well, 76, 75.97. So we're only two points away from that. So this is telling us this thing is, you know, very, very bearish. So that's all I can tell you, and I'm sticking to it. So anyway, that's what we're watching here uh, in the crude oil. But since we're watching crude oil, we ought to watch what's happening with gasoline, because I know gasoline here in Tucson is dropping like the proverbial rock. Have you ever seen that cartoon that says, uh, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, and the guy yells out, sell sky, and he's probably right. Let's move up here, and we're going to take a look at the, uh, uh, we'll look at the, uh, gasoline the arbob first we'll try to have a uh, tim moore uh, excuse me tom mike moore on this uh tomorrow uh, as our guest hopefully now look at this we were supposed to get a 382 retracement look how we're cascading to the downside here folks this thing is just incredibly weak let's just move to the daily and you're going to see how weak this crude oil, uh, how this thing really is very, very weak. There's your high that we made back up in here when we were making A, B, C, Ds to the upside. There's A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, right up to this level. Then we come down, start making three, eight, twos. There's your first major one right here on the 29th. We've already pointed that out to you. That came in at 229. And then look at the lower tops through here, folks. There's a beautiful 135 pattern set up here. Uh, in the uh, gasoline contract. Gasoline is getting a lot cheaper, folks, and it's going to get a lot cheaper because looking at this pattern right here on this hourly chart, you easily have this set up for, in fact, we've, we might have made this today because it's, it's such a move, move down. Not quite. We've got another couple cents to go. Well, more than a couple cents. It goes down another five cents here to get to this level here uh, in the uh, Gasoline, which is a 1.618 expansion of this whole move. There's your 135 pattern. You can see the beautiful symmetry that's here. Just absolutely spot on. We'll be going over that one very closely on the uh, 15th of November. Now, we don't quite make the ABCD here. You see how we make a double top up in here? But we don't. Let me see if it took it out by a penny. Okay, that is 25.58. This is 26. By gosh, this took this out by just a penny, so that is an ABCD. And that was uh, done uh, yesterday, and look at it today. It just drops another 10 cents a gallon for gasoline. Since we're looking at gasoline, let's take a look at the uh, heating oil. That's always another one to look at. We'll just go down. We'll do that on the hourly chart, too, because that's probably, oh, my goodness, look at this one. This is a... This is a dying quail. Oh, son of a gun. Missed a couple here. Now, we're going to get back and talk about this uh, heating oil, folks. Stay with us. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're looking at heating oil here over the last uh, 10 days or so. I just wanted to point out here after this high was made, you know, we try to look for the first 382 retracement. And you can see here we uh, went to the 382, went a tiny bit above it, about a penny. I uh, didn't quite make the 50%. And then we broke down. This is the one that I should have been watching today, folks. This was a four-hour rally. And if that was exactly, it's not, I can tell you that right now, just by eyeballing. Well, I think I can. But from the high down here to the low, you see we missed uh, 382 here by just a little bit. And then, of course, it uh, it collapsed uh, into this year uh, right now folks you can put a trade on anything you want buy sell up down makes no difference if you'll put a stop in and do the trade doesn't make any difference what the pattern is whatever you're looking at because all it costs folks is to put the order in and you can either buy it or sell it and you put your stop in you could I got a chance of losing if you don't put a stop in Therein lies the problem, because you're telling the market that I know more than you do, and so I don't need to put a stop in. And we all know that that is not correct. So you've got to put a stop in. I, I put stops in religiously. I get stopped out a lot. Sometimes I don't, but when I do, I move on to the next one. That's all I can do. I don't worry about it, because I know there's going to be another train coming down the, the track, and that's the one I'm going to be trying to catch. So it looks like we're still going lower in heating oil, gasoline, and crude oil. It's another dollar, two dollars lower in crude. Stop and think, folks. We've got a war going on in Ukraine. That's got to do with Russian oil. We've got a, uh, a definitely, I don't know what they call it, a war, but it is a war uh, over in the uh, uh, Middle East. I mean, for heaven's sakes, people are dying every day. And yet, you'd think with the price of oil, should be going up and what is it doing it's going straight down folks there's nothing wrong with that because markets do that but let's take a look here at the crude oil all right right here you see when we were right there at almost ninety dollars that beautiful ABCD right at the 61 percent retracement that's when Goldman Sachs put out their special report uh, and they said it's going to 120 and uh, from there it's dropped 20 two dollars a barrel 
in 12 trading, well, about 14 trading days. That's what's really bullish news all along the way. So the news is not so much bullish is because they keep pumping it to the downside, which means they can say all they want about the fundamentals, but they can't sell the oil that they got. That's why they're that's why they're reducing the price of it. So that's what you got to pay attention. That's why these bar charts are so darn important because that tells you the sum total of all the buyers and sellers. You don't have to listen to the fundamentals of this stuff. You just don't need to do that. Another one, you know, I, I don't want to bring these up. When I do bring these up, so what people say, and remember, I do the same thing. I say certain things are going to happen, and they don't happen. Okay, and and that's normal because I'm. I'm a technician. Sometimes I'm wrong. I mean, I'm <laughs> I'm wrong a lot, but I'm also right a lot. So all I'm doing is when I when I'm right, I try to tell you when I'm right, and when I'm wrong, I want to tell you that I'm wrong. But if you're listening to other people, you've got to remember that many of them have a different ad agenda. If you remember when Morgan Stanley, let's get this up here, get, get this chart of Tesla up here. It's going to be interesting because. Uh, this is, was a few weeks ago. You'll remember it very vividly. It was right here. Right here, back in September, Morgan Stanley came out and issued a special report, this big gap up. I remember it quite vividly that the price objective they're giving uh, Tesla is $440 a share. That's when it was right here. Now, you went up. To 282, then you came down to 235, and up to 270. That gave you the ABCD to the downside right here, which we made it. But here's a, here's a lesson here since we're talking about this. The two reasons for this: when someone tells you something's going to happen, sure, okay, maybe it's going to happen. But remember, you know, they might have an ulterior motive. Look at this. This thing gaps up and stays up here for five days, and they're looking at 440. You didn't tell me that some of these dudes that bought it here didn't get out of it there. Come on, give me a break. But let me show you why cycle, why these ABCD patterns can be so tricky. Well, you have an ABCD pattern like this, okay? There's your pattern right here, okay? Now, this is secret stuff, so don't share it with anybody, all right? You see this distance right here from there to there? All I'm going to do is I'm going to measure that distance from here to here. Okay, that's that distance from uh, right there to right there. I think that's pretty close to it, isn't it? Yeah, that's close enough. So there's the normal A, B, C, D. If we take that gap distance and add it, okay, look what you're going to do. You're getting real close now down to this level down in here. So whenever you see a gap, you have to extend that. And usually what I do is I extend it by... Go back and do that 1618 again, so you'll be able to see that that's what usually happens when uh, when we do that. And you'll see that there you go, bada bing, bada boom, it takes you right down to the 1.618 expansion. In other words, we're looking at this move right here, and instead of being 1 to 1, we're making it 1.618 to 1, and that gets us down to here. So what has Tesla done so far this week? Well, we've had a pretty big run-up. We've gone from 195 up to 225 we rallied 30 bucks all right the first thing you want to do is measure it from the last high right here and you'll see that the 382 came in right there you also should do it from the high which is farther back than this and where did it come in to the exact 382 that was uh two days ago hit it exact number 226 that was off of this high right here we can say goodbye to this one there's your high because it hit it twice Hit it last, uh, this is Tuesday, so hit it last uh, uh, Friday, Monday, and this is Tuesday right here. So until we get above this, we're still bearish uh, in Tesla. So that's a couple of things that we're paying uh, close attention to here today. Now, I've also had a, a question that someone brought together about, hold on, let me get it up here so that we'll be able to see it. All i got to do is find it, and that is... Um, Meta, M M T A, right? Isn't Meta? Yeah, here it is, right here. By the way, I'm, I'm disabled. My WhatsApp is disabled for the first time in a long time. Well, first time ever, as near as I know. So I, I can't get calls in from people, and that's uh, frustrating as hell. Okay, here you can see this has been one of the really much stronger stocks. No sell-off at all. Still going higher. 
Doesn't look any, uh, it looks like there's much selling coming in here. Uh, you'll see we had the sell off here into the uh, eclipse on the 27th. And from then, we've been on a vertical straight up move here. Let's just see how, how close we are. I think we're already above. No, we're not at above the 786 yet, but we're very, very close. Oh, we hit it. Yes, we did. We did it. That well, this trading at it right now, 319.69, and it's trading at 320. The high on the day is at 321. So, this may be a little potential high in here, but boy, believe me, the emphasis there is on little. Hey, uh, one other one. Show this A B C D, folks. And we'll take a break. A B C D, and we'll be right back. Tires. Every Tuesday and Thursday, Tim Orr joins the Tom O'Brien Show to share his unique insight that he's developed over decades of trading. Now, on Tuesday, November 7th, from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Tim Ord will be hosting his own live webinar. Tim's analysis has been outperforming market returns by almost double, and his gold analysis is on track to be a winner as well. Tim will be delving into six secret ratios that every trader should know. In this webinar, Tim will be covering the daily TLT VIX, the daily and weekly SPY VIX, the American Association of Individual Investors bull bear ratios, and the trend panic levels. Tim will break down each ratio, how it is calculated, its importance, and how it can help you make bigger returns. It's as simple as this. Learn the ratios, trade by them, and see your returns. That's it. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up now. TFNN. Educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted the chart here, the Treasury bonds. We've completed the ABCD up here at 114.01. High was 114.02, trading at 11328. Now, uh, we're a little late on this one. Nothing else I can do about that because we had a commercial to pay for. But uh, this means we should get a sell-off. The last BC swing, okay, we want to measure that. Should take you down to this level right here, which is around 113.07. Uh, so that's this is a $1,000 move to the downside, folks. Uh, if you sold it here at 114 or 114.01, 
going to have a stop at 114.05, so you're only risking $150. But your profit objective here would be this distance right here, which is $9, which is $900. So your profit objective is $900. Your risk would have been 150. You divide 150 into uh, 900, you get six times. In other words, you got a six to one risk reward ratio. In other words, you're risking one unit to make six, and that. That's, those are good odds, folks. You can't beat that. It's like a broken drum. You can't beat it. Okay, now we've got another one here that we should chat with a bit, and that is here about the uh, – hold on one second. We want to get it up here. And uh, that is the gold market. Here's we've been coming down quite a bit in the gold. You notice that we have some ABCD structures forming in gold now over a shorter time frame. This is a 13-minute chart. So – there's our first, uh, there's our uh, A, B, C, D move coming here in gold pretty quickly. There's your A, B leg right here. There's your C, D leg taking you up into this area here at uh, 1977. We're trading at 1974. If you look at this very closely, as you can see here, you've got another A, B, C, D forming also. So you want to draw that one in. There's your AB leg right here. There's your CD leg right here. That comes in at 95, excuse me, 75, and the high so far has been 74.90. Now, when you have two of these right here, you have to give precedence to the larger one because we could still make it up to that level right there. And if we did, remember, this is just a 13-minute chart, but it's going to show you a really nice butterfly pattern up there at uh, 1977, whether it's going to get there or not, we'll have to wait and see. But that's what we'll be watching. Now, since we've done this, we're looking at 1977. What we need to do is go back and look to see what's here. So we're going to go back and go to the hourly chart. Okay, there's where we are right now. We want to go to the hourly chart, which is right here. Okay, here's where here's where the short was, folks. This was the the really nice short. Your A, B, C, D. There's the one we had on Friday. We pointed that out to you folks. There's your A, B leg right there. There's your C, D leg right there. It's supposed to come in at 7. It came in at 11. And now, uh, look, we're coming down. There was your uh, uh, almost a perfect a, uh, 382 here. Just missed it by about a dollar. And then, of course, it comes down. Now, the number we're looking at here is 1977. So let's go and go from your high down to your low. And you're going to guess 1981 is going to be the 382 coming down from the high right there. So that's the number, mathematics before geometry, okay? And geometry is the ABCDs and the butterflies. So we're going to go with the uh, mathematics, and that's going to be being a seller of the gold at 1981.90, or just let's say 1981.90. Putting a stop here at 1988, you're going to risk seven dollars. Okay, so that's pretty much what we're watching. I've just noticed here that we made a pretty nice A B C D on the downside here. There's your A B leg right here. There's your C D leg to the downside. That came in at 72. The low has been uh, 63, so at nine dollars lower. So here's what we're watching here, either today or tomorrow. Watch for that uh, potential 382 retracement here at 1981. Uh, so that's what we're, you know, sort of watching here as we're outlining some of these today. Now, here is the natural gas. Had a nice trade in that today, but unfortunately, I didn't see it till after it was over. There was the high that we made right here. If we looked at this on a shorter term basis, we didn't make anywhere near a 382 on anything on the way down. You see, it's not close to anything at all. But this, my friends, this is an ABCD pattern right here. And remember, this is a 13-minute chart, so you got several hours in here that you're dealing with. And there is your ABCD. That's what we teach here at the Old Pueblo. AB equals CD. It don't work all the time, but it works most of the time. And that's what you've been looking for. There's your ABCD leg right. Get it right in there. Well. The high was uh, 29 and a half, and it went to 20, <laughs> right on the money, folks. Just spot on right there. This number is uh, 329 and a half. The ABCD is 
you got to trade it at 329. You got to risk, risk that 70 cents. Come down, rally up one more time, and then boom, down you come. And then you're looking for a uh, 382 retracement. You would have got it right here. Then you backed off a little bit. But let's just play the devil, devil's advocate. Not that I like the devil, but we're just going to play him as an advocate here. There's a possibility, and it's a slim one. We could be looking at an ABCD here either today or tomorrow up here at 322. Now, that's a 61% retracement. But if we go to the hourly chart, I know you guys are bored stiff with this, but it's all I got. It's all I got, and nothing else I can do about it. So 22 is the number we want to be looking for. So let's just go up here to see what the next 382 is going to be. And there it is right there, 322. So there's what you want to be looking for to be a short seller in this natural gas. Because it this thing is bearish, folks. I don't know where the bottom is, but this thing is bearish. Looking at this on the daily, you know, we're coming down pretty hard. Uh, we're down in this level right here. So uh, this is a change of data. So to disregard this, this is the, the switchover of contracts. And I know that this is not going to be correct, but I'm going to try to get it to – no. No, this is the switchover of contracts. But the number you want to be watching for tomorrow in this uh, – just move down. It's a 13 uh, – 322, watch that number right here. That's a 382 and a 61% retracement. 382 off the really big high back there, and the other one back a little bit farther. So, oh, we got a question from someone. Holy moly, guacamole. Let's get this chart up, and we'll be able to answer the question. And that is about Planeteer. Mr. Mr. Jameson's loves this stock, and here it is right now. This is one of those uh, 007 things okay now this, oh son of a gun this really upsets me this secret thing here it says buy the day before it gaps up you see right here you always want to buy that the day before it gaps up you see right here you buy it the day before it gaps up all right you die it buy it before the day it gaps up buy it before the day that it gaps up it's really look at this one here buy it before the days that it gaps up the only way you're going to know whether it's going to gap up or not is to attend the secret session on November the 15th. And that, my friends, is equivalent to buying two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're looking at the chalk. <laughs> <laughs> folks when my whatsapp goes out i use it so much because i talk to the uk three four times a day and i can't chat today so i was a little upset with that but i'm okay anyway let's take a look at palantir now this stock this is when it was issued back in september of uh, 2020 it had a nice run now look at this folks this is just this is simple a b c d there's your a b leg right here there's your c d leg right there there's your high coming in right there it was supposed to come in at 46 and it came in at 45 was the high miss it by one point look at this perfect 382 retracement from that you make another a b c d to the downside okay there's your a b there's your c d there's your c d to the downside and you miss it again it should have gone to $1.68. It only got down to uh, $5, and now we've rallied back here. Uh, anyway, this stock is very heavily involved in military stuff, artificial intelligence. Some of the brightest minds in the world work for them. Anyway, that's what we're looking at right now. But all I'm bringing to your attention is we have this big gap right here. This was an earnings gap, but we do have an A, B, C, D right here. There's your A, B leg. Okay, there's your CD leg right here. We're there right now. But remember, this gap right here, you might have to add that to this, and that's going to take you all the way up to the expansion of this number right here, which will be up here right at the old level of 2209. That's where it's probably getting ready to go on. Remember, I don't know stocks much. I do know that I do know the technical analysis of it, but that's what we're paying attention to. Okay, now let's move on here to the check this bond trade that we were that we did. Let's get it on here, folks. Uh, wow, can't get anything. There's our bonds. See, we still got a chance. If you wanted to sell them, they just hit 14 again. So your risk here is very small. Uh, your stop would have to be at around 06. And we're trading at 14 even. The high's been 02. So I still think that's a, a valid trade uh, because it is a perfect A, B, C, D move up into this level right up here. I hope that makes uh, nice sense. Now, we had one other question about the cattle trade. The problem with the cattle trade, folks, they don't realize how bearish it is over there, and they left us behind. So let's just get this up here, and you're going to see that it just keeps you know, going down, as you can see here. The range yesterday. Ah, oh, we did have a rally today, though. My goodness. Uh, we had a rally early in the morning. I missed that. Shut the front door. Please don't tell me it was a 382. No. Oh, God. Yes, it was. Shut the front door. Ah, oh, Larry, you teach us stuff. Why don't you pay attention? Look at this. Right to the 82. Wow, that's four cents in cattle. God bless America and all the ships at sea. There's no excuse for that. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Wow. 
two two cent rally exactly at the 382 and now it's down three cents so that's fourteen fifteen hundred dollars here your risk here was about 200 look where it is and it's heading down even farther down if we look at this again on that daily wow look at that you don't even you don't even see that rally until you uh, do it on the uh, smaller time frame but there's your 135 pattern that tells us that we're heading sharply lower and we're going to get the cattle meat's going to be cheaper folks so get ready you might have to have a prime rib instead of turkey who knows there's what you're looking at at 170 down about another eight cents well that's a lot so try to get short these cattle because how could i miss that trade in the cattle my goodness no excuse for that one all right let's move on okay let's get on to the next one here if you have any questions uh, we're back to new highs eight uh 114.02 the sell was at 01 so make sure your stop is setting in you don't want to risk more than six points so your stop is 11408 that's 100 yeah six 180 dollars is all you're risking all right so this is a valid abcd there's no question about it all right let's move on here to see the uh, euro because we did cover that and now we stopped at the 382 right here off the bottom there's our 382 all we're doing now is having a little what we call a small bounce you can see this is a small ABCD we got to do the same thing here that we didn't do with the cattle can't believe that boy hi down to <laughs> wow watch the euro up here at 10705 up about another 15 pips up in here folks it's a down market there's your 382 retracement so 107203 that's where you want to sell it. You got to risk about 20 points, 10723. But uh, this has been worth a thousand bucks on the way down. Be willing to nibble back a little bit here and resell it on this little 382 rally is what I'd be doing right here with that. Okay, now let's move on here to check and see how we're doing in the stock market to see if it's. Uh, we'll start out with the Dow because it looks like it's rallying back pretty good, which in fact it is. There's our move here this morning. We backed off from the high, low to high and went a little below the 382. Here's where we are now, not anywhere near the highs, and I'm sure that's been the leader, so the others. Oh, that, let's, let's take that back, Larry. You did make a new high just now. You see this high has been taken out here in the NASDAQ. This is a, a, a action in the NASDAQ. There's... There's the low early morning. This is probably a right spot on 382 would be my guess. Nope, doesn't even make it. It only gets down, misses it by quite a bit. So that one didn't work too well. And that's pretty much it. What we're looking at here, we're getting the gold up in here. Uh, this is the number in the gold, folks, 1981. We're at 76 right now. I had an order to buy it there, and I canceled it. God darn it, just buying that little bit of a pullback. But what really upsets me is that cattle trade. My goodness, Larry. Oh, I know what caused it. Uh, no, that wasn't it. I was having trouble with that WhatsApp. And when I have trouble with technical stuff, folks, all bets are off because I, I just throw up my hands, say a few expletive words that I don't say in public, and then I move on to the next one. Anyway, watch this one real closely, 1982. It's a 382 in the uh, gold from those highs right back in here. So that should be some pretty strong resistance uh, in this area because we've come down and made some pretty good uh, movements to the downside. So that's what we're paying attention here right now. Well, we only got a minute to go, 877-927-6648. Uh, tomorrow we're going to try to have Mike Moore of Moore Analytics on. On Friday we are – Definitely going to have Grace Morris of Astro Economics. She's been incredibly good with uh, showing us some of these stocks on the NASDAQ and the burst signs and all that stuff. And I believe on Thursday we're supposed to have Joe Zanapoli, but I haven't heard from him, so I'll have to wait and see if Joe's going to show up for that. If not, it'll be more of the same. We'll just go over your questions. And I know the questions came in hot and heavy today. If you were unable to get through, it was just unfortunate. But just keep trying. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, here is the Treasury bond trade, and we are out with a six-tick um, loss, and that means that we... Uh, lost one hundred and eighty six dollars thirty one twenty five per point and uh, so that's history no mystery sometimes they work sometimes they don't let's move on here by the way folks I believe we only have 49 days left till Christmas but you should check with any nine-year-old and they'll be able to tell you exactly how many days well see we got 25 in December and we still have uh, 30 out uh, 55 days left is what it's going to be 25 no, we got 25 and 25, 47 days. Wow, pretty good. Not bad. Anyway, that's what we're watching here today. Um, I'm pretty much run out of gas here, so I don't know what else to say. We did have a loss here today. Some of the other trades worked really good. The euro was really nice. I didn't get didn't get filled in the gold. Uh, what other one did we have? We had another one that was more the cattle trade. Boy, that just sucks. I can't believe I missed that. I uh, that's just. Uh, uh, that's just unheard of to, to 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 miss that. That's just not good. Not good trading when you miss that, boys and girls. Keep an eye on these ones for tomorrow, folks. Thirty-one seventeen in the uh, natural gas, and of course uh, three twenty-two uh, in the uh, gold. I believe it's uh, uh, nineteen eighty-two in the gold is the one we're watching. Is a three eight two. Uh, on that one. Also, uh, 
do what you can for your neighbors out there because I'll tell you, folks, it's not an easy gig, especially coming into the holidays. And uh, you got to help out the best you can. Uh, I'm uh, not a big uh, fan of the holidays. So my kids were little. From the time they were about nine years old, they didn't want presents, folks. They basically wanted to give their time and their presents they gave to the poor people. I was so shocked that they did that. But uh, I was very proud of that anyway. Hey, let's take a break. See you tomorrow. May God bless. We'll have Mike Moore on tomorrow. So that's it. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless. 